12 a.m. It's my 7th. And I have to be to the airport at 3 a.m. And I'm currently packing my bag because I'm going somewhere new and I'm super excited. Um, I have like an internship program that I'm going to be doing. It's like a training program. It's super exciting. So the past few days I've just been like running around and grabbing a bunch of stuff that I feel like I'll need for the next month because I'll be there for an entire month. And this is what my room is looking like. It's kind of crazy. But I'm finally back home at my house in Cincinnati and my room looks crazy. This is what we're working with currently. I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs tote bag as a carry-on and then this big oversized yellow bag for my checked luggage. Because we're going to fly out at 5 a.m. and we're gonna get there at around 9 a.m. And so, I don't know. We won't be able to check into our hotel until like three. So I wanna have on something cute enough and comfy enough that like, we can go out and get breakfast or something in. So I'm thinking I need to clean out this bag. This bag is literally disgusting. It has so much stuff in it. I have some sunscreen moisturizer from Sunbum because we're gonna need it. We're gonna need it in this hot sun. I always like to travel with a book um, I read this last summer and I'm like rereading it currently because it's just such a great read and I really don't want to throw them away but I have like some little eye bags one day I will graduate and become one of those like frequent flyers that does like face masks and all of that on the plane but as of right now I'm not her I have two roller balls I have my replica perfume this is like a night scent and then I have my the seven virtues vanilla woods this is like a day scent my sd card and sd card reader i bought this new toiletry bag from target also bought a new water bottle because when i'm doing my job um for a month i'll be like walking around outside and i feel like it's a good idea for me to have a good quality water bottle um two blade razors two blade razors i'm be sleeping on them and they'll get you right I'm going to be taking all of my Sunbum products with me. I grabbed these from Target because they have like this really cool line of like so many awesome products. So I wanted to have some really good products that are going to help protect my skin in the sun because I will be in the sun for about eight hours every day um, with the work that I'll be doing for the next month. And so I need to really protect my skin. Overall, prioritizing the health of my skin. Um, all of their products smell really, really good. I used these during the school year and I really, really liked them. So I re-upped on all the products when I went to Target. And now I'm just going to put them inside of my little toiletry bag that I just showed you guys. So they have this really cool product. It's like a sunscreen face mist. And so I'm just going to take that with me. And then they also have a night cream. So yeah, whose skin is not about to be sha-popping while I'm out and about? I also picked up this little mini essentials kit and it has their, what is it? The daily cleanser, the daily moisturizer, and the little face mask. And since I'm only going to be gone a whole, like a month, I don't think I need to bring like these full-size bottles with me. Um, and also that's going to add weight to my bag. And I, I need to bring clothes. I need to bring shoes so i'm going to prioritize that and just bring like the little mini versions of the products but these a little bit goes a long way like you put like a dime size of the cleanser in your hand and it's so frothy and just smooth and it's actually hydrating like when i'm finished washing my face i don't feel like it's been stripped of all the moisture unlike other cleansers that i've used so i really like that but i will be bringing the full size of the sunscreen face mist just because I just need to have that like I'm sometimes I'm too lazy to do the whole shebang so I'm gonna definitely bring this I'm also gonna bring the eye cream because child let me tell you something the way I'm going to be tired no sleep restless losing my mind so I'm just gonna put this in here into my little essentials kit I'm also gonna bring my night cream because we need to revitalize and restore and literally so cute so this is gonna go inside of my suitcase right now bam 
But yeah, guys, I'm going to continue packing and getting my life together. And I'll see you guys at 3 a.m. when we're on our way to the airport. Yeah, I didn't mean to. We just got some starbies. Very delicious. Very yes. You want to try it? Sure. It's the best drink in the world. Is it hot? No, it's iced. What do you think? It's busting. Nice. <laughs> yeah. We made it. We're now walking to baggage claim. We can get our collect our things. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I just don't I'm have. Gonna cry. I'm gonna be dropping my baby off. You'll be okay. I know you'll be okay. Just... I was just like an hour and a half away. For a whole semester, for a whole year. And last year too, I know. Yeah. I'm just saying. I think we're on the wrong side, Mom. Huh? I think we're on the wrong side. I think like the flow of traffic to oh, walk. Oh, yeah. Right, was on the side. I guess everybody over here just got the same clue. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess I will reveal the location of where I'm at now. I'm in Savannah, Georgia. I'm working with, I'm not gonna say all of that. I'm not gonna say all of that. <laughs> but I'm working with a company in Savannah, Georgia. And so, I'll be here for a month. We just got to our hotel and got ready. I'm going to go downtown to grab some food. I'm going to show you guys my hair. I did like this little updo shebang. Um, it's like fish tail braids in the back, kind of inspired by Christopher Kyle. He's been doing these like messy updos for the Insta baddies. And it's so cute. Here's a little OOTD. So I have on these shorts from Shein. I have like fringe on the sides. I have on this top from this guy, a pretty little thing. I have on my jewelry from Sylvia. I just wear my customized jewelry. And then I have on my movement watch. And I can see this one. It's giving. You don't wear a blue. Mother's Day, honey. Thank you. We're at this place now that the Uber driver recommended Fiddlers. So let's get some Uber driver. Some seafood. They don't do boils, they do steam pots. Kind of like Joe's crab shot. This is gonna be an experience. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Oh, you got the buffalo. You got fried pickles, fried green tomato, garlic, spicy garlic shrimp, and then I got the something boiled. The little country boiled. See yeah. We're on our way to where I will be staying for the next month. Got my luggage and stuff we're gonna move my things in but I met them yesterday my team and they were very nice people we watched the UFC fight the weather is not as nice today as it was yesterday it's kind of cloudy it's kind of cold so I have on jeans and a shirt but we're on our way over like I said to the place I'll be staying for the next month I'm just gonna unpack all my stuff then we can go get lunch. You wanna get lunch? Sure. 
only. Sure. <laughs> I did not like steak. I'm just not a big steak person, but that steak on that salad, it just did something to me. So, I really want some steak, but um, it's an hour and a half away because it's Mother's Day, you know? So, I just got to wait. But, I'm super excited. Tomorrow's gonna be my first day of work. Um, so, I'm just gonna like get some things together and then on Tuesday, I start class. But I also need to like, drop some classes and pick up some classes because I put some classes on there that are like in person then and I'm not on campus at all so I'm gonna have to figure that out I'm gonna have to figure that out immediately so yeah that's my life right about now um I need to find some asynchronous classes to sign up for and that's about it but I'm excited for the summer and my birthday is in less than a month, so I need to be ordering my birthday outfit and finishing planning my birthday party. So. Okay. You want some fruit? Yeah, girl. It's so weird going grocery shopping. I haven't had to do this in the, ever. I want apples. Strawberry's gonna go bad. Look, oh, they have the cotton candy grapes. These are so good. Oh, they got pink lady. Oh, I forgot. Are those? You, like the, you like the apples I don't like, so. I like honey crisp. It's a genre. Not everyone uh -huh. fits in the bad genre. Okay. So. I like these. See, if you wake up every day and you say you're not a morning person, you're doing a serious disservice to yourself because your attitude determines your altitude. A lot of your mornings start off bad because you've taken claim that you're not a morning person. Why would you not be a morning person when the whole goal is to wake up every morning? you got to be in the life-changing business. People have got to look at you like a light. Something should be in you that shows other people that there's hope. You don't know this about yourself, but you're going to be that person one day. And you got to start preparing for what you want to be. At least let God know you're glad you're alive. If you don't let nobody else, you don't know it. But you're going to be a light one day. And people are going to look to you for that light. I believe in winning the battle against yourself. Because there's a lot of things you can control. When you wake up, I talk about making your bed. Make your bed. Make sure your house is clean. Make sure you get your breakfast. Make sure you shower, shave. Whatever you're doing, control that. Don't hit the snooze button. 